the field watch is perhaps the most straightforward tool watch ever made. Its only job is to deliver legible time at a glance, often in very tough conditions. The field watch was made for the great outdoors, with a design that was refined during war years. Nowadays, the watch still meets its original purpose for hiking, camping, sports and outdoor work. There are several defining features of a field watch. A three-hander with Arabic numerals against a contrasting black dial and loomed hands is the classic look. Other colours can be used if they contrast. Often an inner 24-hour dial is displayed in a nod to its military history. The only complication may be a day date. The movement can hack, the case is water resistant and compact to fit under a cuff to avoid getting caught on obstacles. And they are never made in precious metals. The field watch has a surprisingly long history. Here is an advertisement from 1888 that reads, specially recommended for hunting men, colonists, travelers, and officers from whom hundreds of testimonials have been received. A few years after this advert, officers and soldiers in the Boer War would start to wear the pocket watch on the wrist Accurate timing was vital for barrages and assaults, and the expedience of checking time on your wrist, especially under fire, won out against the awkwardness of digging a watch from your pocket. During World War I, it would come to be known as a trench watch, due to that style of warfare. But already, the field watch had developed its design language. By the time of the Second World War, the military lay down specific rules to describe the field watch. The British developed the WWW wristwatch waterproof and the US had the A11 specification. Both prescribed luminous hands, waterproofness and robustness. Many watch companies built and supplied to the specifications. After the war, the watch takes different paths. This divergence means the field watch has a military history and a civilian life. Peace brings increased leisure time and prosperity. The resurgence of adventurism and recreational sport meant watch companies have a new market through the late 40s and 50s. Makers readily promoted increasing levels of waterproofness and sturdiness for outdoor pursuits. Watches from this period can sometimes be mistakenly called military. However, during the 60s and 70s, new arrivals will take market share. The dive watch and the automatic chronograph would start to dominate the sports watch market. During the Vietnam War, many soldiers also found divers to their liking and purchased their own watch. The military, faced with financial constraints, would begin to focus on cheaper watches. Quartz movements would begin to replace mechanical movements and the watch mill spec 46374 allowed a one-piece plastic case a watch designed to be non-maintainable and disposable. Into the 80s, field watch sales waned, largely victim to quartz sports watches. However, the dial motif was strong and it wasn't long before designers reprised the classic field watch pattern. The renaissance of watchmaking would see the return of the field watch. And nowadays, there's a ton of new models available for those that love wild places and outdoor life. The challenges of trekking and camping are many, including the fact that given the chance, your side of the tent is the side that leaks. 
the weight of a backpack can never remain uniformly distributed, and a pup tent sadly does not come with a pup. Nevertheless, the joys of adventuring are ever more appreciated with good gear, including a solid timepiece. Long before there was a pilot watch or a dive watch, there was a field watch. For a watch style that is over 130 years old, its key feature still holds true, offering time telling at a single glance while on the go.